ban and all the conversations around conservation at this particular moment. But before then, Kenya Power Managing Director Dr. Joseph Sirol has refuted the claims by the Kitui East Member of Parliament, Nimrod Mbai, that he had the blessing or his blessings for an alleged illegal electricity connection at his home. Now, the MP was arrested this morning for assaulting a Kenya power engineer who reportedly disconnected an illegal power line at the lawmaker's home in Kitengela, Kajedo County. Now, the Kenya power has also warned against illegal connections and attack on the employees as Willie Lusige reports. The video showing Kitui East Member of Parliament Nimrod Mbai beating up a Kenya power official Julius Okangi in Kitengela went viral on Monday. The MP accused the official of removing electrical poles leading to the legislator's house. <laughs> On Wednesday, Kenya power workers in Kitengela held a peaceful protest from the company offices in EPZA to Kitengela police station condemning the incident. Hii dhuluma, ujuma na kitendo ya kiritimba tunasema kwamba hii lazima ishe hapa i Kenya. Ilikuwa ni aibu kubwa sana kuona mkubwa wetu. He's an engineer by profession, sio mtu wa kubahatisha, akipigwa kama kama mnyama in the viral video Mbai is seen assaulting KPLC engineer and threatening to shoot him. The incident took place at his Acacia home in Kitengela. The KPLC officer were allegedly at the MP's palatial home to disconnect power which is said to have been illegally connected. The visit had reportedly been prompted by an outcry from neighbors claiming low voltage power in their homes. This was before it was established that there was was a massive illegal connection to the MP's home. Mbai is seen lecturing the KPLC staff and even accused them of purportedly demanding bribes before supplying electricity to the residents of Kitengela. According to the MP, the KPLC officials had delayed installing power to his Kitengela home and he allegedly chose to talk to their bosses in Nairobi. <laughs> For years without power because of corruption. On Wednesday, Kenya Power came out to distance itself from by his claims. And from my office, I will never support any illegality. Indeed, that's actually why you are here today, for us to declare in plain and white what our position is on this matter. In the widely circulated video, which is the subject of a public debate, the legislator who has since been arrested was heard alleging that Siror and Cabinet Secretary ordered the power connection. <laughs> I do not remember ever having even communicated or talked to the person in question. So I do not know under in which forum he got those blessings. While condemning the incident, the MD said Kenya Power will intensify surveillance to stamp out illegal connections. We have taken up this issue with the relevant authorities and the matter is now before the courts. The MP who presented himself at Kitengela police station on Wednesday morning was released on a cash bill of 50,000 shillings. At the same time, the company's board chair, Brenda Masinde, maintained that the decision to change from a detailed breakdown of token patches in messages was advised by a survey noting that a number of consumers requested brief messages about the token patches. Previously, KPLC detailed the tax charge, the fuel energy charge, the forex charge, the energy and petroleum regulatory authority APRA fee, and the inflation adjustment, among others. That for most SMSs to smartphones, it would be two SMSs. For those who had a kabamba, it would go up to three SMSs. The cost of each SMS, by the time we were done at the end of the year, we realized we were spending almost 250 million shillings paying for the text alone. And we realized most Kenyans, what you want is to know what your token is. Will you see the news, Nairobi. Also, the government.